Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Super Mario 3D All Stars. And now, let's go to Super Mario Sunshine. Spectacular amusement park and succulent seafood. Oh. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Let's get started. Also, I heard my, f my friends were telling me recently that a lot of people don't like this game because it's harder. It is definitely the hardest of the Super Mario 3D All-Stars games, but, and also not liked because of the controls being worse, but in my opinion, this is the definitive version of this, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this and I'm gonna enjoy it because it's really good. Also, just get good if you're just having, if you think it's hard. But anyway. Concerned with the well being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Master Mario, remember, B is the key is key. Use it to show me some of those famous jumps. Okay, so we can jump by pressing B, we can also talk to people by pressing A. Hey look, it's me. Don't worry Mario, we'll watch over the princess. Please go and get help. I also love them saying, what's this icky paint like goop? It's moving. It's such a great thing for the toads to have done. Ick, Mario, it's all goopy. We came all this way and now look, everything's spoiled. Oh, this is the worst. Mario, please go get some help. It looks like this gunk is coming from somewhere below. It's really slippery, so watch your step. 
That is very true. If we step on it, we will slide into it, which can be bad. Especially because if we stay in it too long, we will actually take damage. We can hop into water, though, to get cleaned up, which is nice. Now, let me get out of the water again. It's got... This game has similar controls to Super Mario 64, and same mechanics and all that. Well, mechanics reused from that. What are you waiting for? Do something! This groovy paint of yours completely covered my friend. Of mine? I guess it does kind of look like Mario. Also, we can just slide this goop around and spread it, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, you're not supposed to, but you can, you can and it's far too much fun. Just sliding. But anyway, let's see what else we can look at here. Welcome to Isle Delfino! Right, step right up and get yourself a free tourist map. Press L to view your map. So we can do that. There's not a whole bunch on here at the moment, but we'll see about that later. There's also a wanted poster for Mario, by the looks of it. Although it looks like a very scary looking Mario. Huh? Have we met somewhere before? I feel like I've seen you somewhere, and recently too. Well, just ignore the poster to the thing there, it's just, it's probably Luigi from the Luigi's Mansion original game over. Help? Help you? Are you crazy? We're the ones who need help. Take that water pump and clean the airstrip, you, you. Complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the button to shoot water from my pool. If you press the button, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the button. Instructions complete. Proceed. I was slightly laughing during that cutscene because it says the button for some of those buttons. Because, because this is a different version and the buttons are different. The, the voice actor or whatever wasn't, they didn't replace the lines where it says the specific button. And I guess I didn't want to change the length of the, the cutscene, I guess. But we don't want to hear that explanation again. But really, you could, you, they could have probably redone the voice, but it's a good thing that the, the text is also on screen. So, we can hold down the uh, ZR button to spray in front of us, or we can press the R button to aim and spray, which is useful. So holding down the uh, ZR button is very useful for just running around and spraying. You can only spray for so long before it sp sputters out, but we have a fair bit of um, a fair bit of uh, water to use in our tank. We can also break these boxes here, and as you can see, we can also clean off. Um, specific things on walls, like those M graffiti things. You can also spray this painting or wanted picture here, I believe. Or well, maybe I'm wrong. I could just be wrong. But anyway, let's see what we can do to help clean up this mess. You don't say anything different, do you? No, you don't. Okay, well, let's just do this. Also, I believe there's a way if I hold the Z... If I hold the Z L button, we shuffle left and right without actually moving. Which means we can still spray and just hold the direction. Ella's map, I forgot about that. But I believe if we 
jump with... Oh, hang on. How do I do this again? I, f I forget. Also, we can press the X button to switch our nozzle from spray to hover. The hover nozzle allows us to jump and then we'll just press the ZR button to just hover. It only lasts for a few seconds, but it'll help us stay in the air a little bit longer. If we need some water, we can just hop into a bit of water and hold down the sh shoot button to just absorb water in into our tank, so that's quite useful. Now let me see if I can get this thing to work. I know there's a way to do this. I can't remember how to do it. I really can't. Why can I not? Okay, never mind. You don't have to hold the ZL button. You just hold the spray button. The So you hold down R and press B to backflip and you do a lot of... You do a lot of spraying all at once, so... Even jumping and then pressing the shoot button squirts in all different directions. This method is used in speedrunning, which it's been a long time since I've seen a speedrun of this game. But yeah, it's very useful for spraying down things quickly and spraying over a large area as well. But anyway, this person was underneath the goop and for cleaning up the goop over him, he's popped out of the ground. And now that he's clean, after spraying him again, poof, blah, whoa, I really thought I was a goner. Hey, hang on, it's you. This whole mess is your fault. I don't know what you're talking about, I just landed. Anyway, let's just clean up a little bit more of this goop and even this gigantic puddle thing in the middle. And we can do a fair bit of cleaning up for it, but this piranha plant-like thing monster has popped out of the ground. We have to spray it in the face when its mouth is open. Uh, but if we spray it at the wrong time, it will get angry at us. So let me see if I can get that to work, just quickly, just, just so I can show off what happens. Except I think this one is fairly easy to fight anyway. But the uh, jump and spray everywhere move is just really overpowered get against taking him out, so... That's highly recommended. And for cleaning up this whole area, and defeating him, the airstrip returns to normal, and this appears. Let's go pick it up. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! Objection! Overruled! I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned! This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. 
Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the Shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. Go straight that way. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Delfino Plaza. And the... the group looks like an octopus thing. So yes, we're in Delfino Plaza now, and I actually like the way that the game explains pretty much everything in cutscenes. And that's actually interesting that it doesn't do that in later games, because I feel like that's kind of very useful. Like even, like, now, it's just, you have to read the text that the characters are saying to actually understand everything. Anyway, oh Mario, you're okay after all, I just knew you would be. And why is the sky so dark? Huh. It's not sun-drenched. This is hardly my idea of a re relaxing vacation, Mario. I want to go home right now. Well, I'm pleased to see you're safe. I must tell you. We, we were wa walking around town earlier and it seems the area near the Shine Gate is still quite bright. Perhaps you should check it out, Master Mario. Okay, well, I don't think I want to at the moment. Right now, there are some missing peoples close to the front of Delfina Square. There's also these group monsters that are coming out of the group, which, if they try to attack you, will also leave group on the ground. But if we need uh, water, sometimes they will drop it if we kill them. We can also jump on them to defeat them as well. Oh, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. Okay. Well, anyway... Oh, get out of the group. Also, if we take damage, and then... Hang on, let me go back for a second. If we take damage from something, we can see our life meter at the top. Each one of those bars around the icon in the middle is a, a point of health. And if it's grayed out, it means you've lost that health. If you collect a coin, you recover health. Kind of simple. It's very Super Mario 64 all over again. But anyway. <clears throat> anyway, we have another one of these group monsters to take care of. So let's do that using what we've learned from last time, with our uh, spraying everywhere. We can also side flip into a a spray, which is pretty good. If you miss your shot when his mouth isn't, if you shoot him when his mouth isn't open, open, he gets very annoyed at you and just shakes around a bit. But you have to keep waiting. Well, that's not good. Let's go get Shadow Mario. Also, if we spray on the ground and then dive, we can actually use the water as a, a way of sliding faster. And we don't even need to worry about um, keep like more adding more water to it. As long as we sprayed it once and di dived into it, we'll just create water from nowhere and then just keep sliding super fast. But anyway, we need to shoot Shadow Mario with water. And it might be good to just shoot him with lots of... Ah, uh, splatter shots, I guess. I don't know what it's actually called. Come on. It doesn't take too much to actually get him, but you need to actually shoot him and ha have him flash red. But after a while, 
he gets knocked out and leaves Peach on the ground. Ow, ow, ow! Not fair. Completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. Well, so there's text on the bottom of the screen, which is the news. And it's quite interesting that they're covering stuff that you need to do. But anyway, let's follow Shadow Mario. And he does a little in interesting animation just before doing this, where he's like laughing, I guess. But now he's made this graffiti. He escaped into the graffiti. Mario, let's try to do, do something. The text went away. But anyway, we just need to spray his graffiti. And now we can see something inside. So let's jump in. Bianca Hills, Episode 1, Road to the Big Windmill. We get a slight preview of the level. So now let's see what we can do. I don't know what these people want to tell me about, but probably not much. Oh, don't want to jump on you, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to talk to you. Gets <laughs> He gets angry with me if I jump on him. Huh? You're back again, are you? You seemed like you were in such a hurry last time I saw you. Yes, I'm sure I was. Definitely me, and not the person who looks completely different. And by completely different, I mean... He's blue. <laughs> hey, I think you're in a ne uh, need of a pair of my special sunshades. Oh well, then again, maybe you're, you're not ready. You need to spend a bit more time here in on Isle Dolphino. Come back when you think you're ready for a pair. See ya. So that's something we'll need to keep in mind. But anyway, let's dive again onto the water, which is going to make us go really fast. We can use these tight ropes to get up pretty high. And let's just keep going. Let's go across this wall, which we can't get around any other way. And we can see that there's a lot of group over here. And also shadows for things that don't exist. So let's spray that and make palm trees appear. There's also these prior plants that will be in the group that you need to spray with water to get rid of. Ow. And now, coming from the group thing over this way, is these giant bowls, which are also prana plants, that you can take out. But anyway, let's just get rid of them and get a little bit closer to this group monster over here so I can take it out. Now I'm about to run out of water. Also, when you run out of water, it sounds like... Oh, I can't even hear it right now. That's a shame. It has a great sound when you're out of water, though. And that's, that's, that's what I wanted to point out. Oh, come on. Just shoot it a little bit more. You have to shoot it consistently to get the monster to spawn in. There we go. Unlike Mario 64, if you go into water, you do not just randomly heal. Which is unfortunate. But now, let's take out this monster if I can. You can be try somewhat safe in the water because it can't shoot, like, goop at you that will get you hurt. But you still need to take it out, so. Spray it as much as possible. And that's pretty much it. They're fairly easy to fight. Oh, I mistimed that one, but that's okay, because I've got him now. I like the way that it, when you clear up the, all the group, it makes the shine, or make the ground, whatever it is was covering, come out of the ground. So let's grab another shine sprite. So that's basically the way this is going to go. We're going to go back in and out of levels and get as many shines as we possibly can. Bianca Hills, Episode 2. Down with PD Piranha. We can also see the, the best number of coins we got in a level from the um, shine select screen. 
let's see how this is gonna go. Still, if I can do the triple jump, that'd be great. There we go. Oh, I landed in the water. Oh, come on, get onto the log, please, Mario. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I have not played this game much. I've only played it twice before, so... If I don't exactly know what I'm... How, how... If I'm not doing very well, that's why. But anyway, let's just keep going over this way. We need to head up this tower. You can actually do this shine by doing the first shine, so you can actually skip the first shine of the game and just go up this way, but I don't think you want to do that, probably. So instead, let's just go up this way. We have to be careful of giant prana balls being thrown at us, and also just sludge being thrown at us, I guess. And sometimes I believe, somewhere, sometimes, killing enemies in the sludge or cleaning up the sludge actually gives us more water to use. Not at the moment, apparently. That's okay, because up here is an extra water re recovery thing, which just instantly fills up a water just by touching it. And let's keep going up. Need to hover around some of these spike vines. Hello. Could you help out with the big-headed creature up there? You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. I know it's a pain, but you think you can handle it? I think I can handle it. But first I'm going to quickly press down the l right stick, which allows us to go into first person, and we can actually shoot like this. So it's a good way of aiming. And now we get a blue coin, which is separate from the yellow coins. Once you've collected a blue coin, you have it permanently, so the place that you got it from won't have one anymore. And we need to get a lot of these because they're one of the collectibles in the game, so... Now let's head up to Petey Piranha. This is such a nice level. I love the lake. Okay, let's go over to Petey Piranha. I love the way that they look at each other when that happens. Anyway, for this fight, we want to make sure that Petey Piranha's group is cleaned up as much as possible so we don't have anything trying to attack us. This is our first, technically, boss fight. But anyway, we want to just spray into his mouth when it's opening. Because if we don't, he will make more goop appear. Once he's full of water, we can just ground pound on his stomach to get it out and we do some damage to him. So that's just how this boss fight is going to go. He's going to also try and turn around so we can't actually be looking at him. So we need to actually just try and focus. Just fill him up. Okay. Fairly simple. We just need to rinse and repeat. Literally. Okay. Okay, PD, 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 PD. Come on. This should be the last hit. So, here we oh, get on there and slam. There we go. Let's grab another shine. Now back at Tofino Plaza. There's some group somewhere in here. But we're not going to worry about that just now. So instead, let's just quickly go over this way. 
because if we hover out this way, there's a little hole we can get into, into the jail cell over here, and there's a blue coin. So, by going to our map, we can see different areas that we've been to, like Delfina Plaza. The one with Mario is the one where he's currently in. But Bianco Hills has its own shines, coins, uh, score, and blue coins. And Delfina Plaza has its own. So, we need to get blue coins in a lot of different places. Delfino Airstrip is technically part of Delfino Plaza, so there's no um, coin total or blue coin total there either. You can also go to totals over here and see how we're doing in each level with our, our shines and coin uh, scores. But anyway, that's enough of that for now. So. Let's get out of jail, because Mario's, Mario's already been arrested once already. And that is it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.